gas. Hi everyone, Xandra from Scraps of Beauty here. I was just trying to pop out my chat. Hi Dawn. <laughs> Hi Ella. Oh my gosh, I had to laugh when you said come watch Frankie and his girlfriends tonight. <laughs> Hi Cindy. Hi Linda. Hi BG. Oh, it's raining here and kind of drizzly. It's kind of like a blah day today. All right, so I push recording. So we're done with that. How are you guys tonight? Oh, I'm like, kind of like tired, but I don't know. I didn't sleep too well the past two days, so. Hi, Pam. All right, so first off, before we get started, and tonight we're just going to work on embellishments for our mini. Um... I do want to show you um, the finished frame that we did last week. So I added, um, you can see, oh, I got to push you out too far. Hold on. Um, let's see. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Where is my camera? Oh, hold on one second. Where is the camera? Okay, there we are. Hold on. Okay. I didn't know where it went. Hi, Barry. I wonder why you're not uh, mod. I have you as mod, but you're not coming up as mod. Scared you to death. <laughs> why? <laughs> Hi, Ash. All right, so I just wanted to show you, I did add some, um, a little skeleton coming out from underneath the uh, ground there. And then I went ahead and added the, um, the other mats. So that's that. And then um, this key comes out and holds another little mat. <laughs> uh, I added the flowers. And then this one flips up. You saw that, and we took this out. So wherever there's a little mat, I added a key in here. And then there's this, makes a little pocket. And then I added that. And I could put another mat in here, but I didn't. Then we have this. Oh, did the other one move? This one pulls out too, I forgot. This one folds out like this. It says you're, yes, you are mod, but so is Barry's mod too. I don't know why she's not blue. Because um, I have it set for you guys to already um, do, you know, do it. Then there's this. Then another mat here pulls out. And then this one comes out like this. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Bunny. Oh, and then my little spider, he goes, he flops around. And then this one flips up. And then I put stickles around the edge here. And it's hard to see. I put glossy accents here to make, um, make like, glass. And then this one comes out. And then you saw the little witch there. This pulls out all the way out. And then it tucks back underneath her like that. And then this one pulls out like this. Has a little bat here. You can see him. And then this one here. And then, of course, this all flips up, and we have that. Oh, I forgot. You have to keep, I have to push this all the way down, or it, it. So, finally finished it, so it's going to go off to my nephew tomorrow. And then in the back, I wanted to, um, which you can't see. I wish I could make it dark, um, but it glows in the dark. Let me see if I can do it so you can kind of see it. Can't really. But anyway, it glows in the dark like in the back, and I still have to sign my name and stuff. But um, so that's the finished frame. And then tonight, what we're gonna do is just work on embellishments. And so, um, if you saw my post on Facebook, I took this doll 
which is any of the um, die cut ones and these two dolls I guess I should move you up closer now so I'll have the um, PDF for these um, probably next week sometime um, I just didn't get it to Janny in time so um, Actually, it'll fit pretty much any of the dolls, any of these little dolls. Um, really, all you need is just the head and stuff, because with the PDF, you're going to, um, you're going to get the, um, the little skirt, the dress, the hat, the bat wings, Frankenstein, the little witch, um, boot, a little um, ghost flourish, and then the little um, mats. Um, Frankenstein, the mummy, and Dracula. And then I have a couple others that she's gonna uh she hasn't done for me yet. So I'll have that ready probably by next show, I hope. So they came out cute, didn't they? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, she's not feeling well, but she's watching, but she's not feeling well. She has to rest. Um so let me get the um, front cover out. I have so many boxes, it's like, ugh. There it is. Oh, I need my gate. What's that? Hold on one second. So this is, um, so you'll get the mummy, and then um, you'll get the pattern for um, Frankenstein, and then Dracula, um, you'll use the same pattern. Um, the only thing is you're just going to cut this black and then just put a point here. I think you guys could do that. Um, so you get those three, and then you can make them smaller if you want a small one. So you can make them um, any size that you want. It would be cute even if you did like a whole album like just with those so hi Miki um, so that's that so this is how our front cover is going to be so it'll go like this I went um, I have to put this which is we're gonna make the little broom tonight I'll show you how to do that so that's gonna go behind her here oh did I tape it down already that's gonna go just like this And then this, we're going to have that like that. So didn't she come out cute? I really like her green hair. <laughs> and then on my blog, I showed you exactly how to um, cut it from the paper. So let me sh show you where that sheet is. Um, hold on, I'm looking for the paper. When you go to make this, if you're making the little um, bat witch girl, what you're going to do is you're going to use this paper here, this one. This is the um, large damask. And so what you're going to do is you're going to cut this out from here. And I have it on my blog so that you could see it. And then um, the bat wings are from each corner. So you get one here and you get the other one over here. And then the hat also will come from the extra pieces that um, that you, kept, you cut from here. So, um, and again, this is the gate one, but you could do a regular rectangle one. Oh, you like to do the Halloween treats? <laughs> That'll be cute. So, and then I just cut this off, and then again, I just put some black crackle on here. And so that, that's how it'll go. And then we'll do our binding um, probably next week. So it'll flip over like that, and this will be our first page. And then I glued um, her to um, the moon, 
and then um, I just use a little bit of um, craft text to go back and forth like that so she'll open so you'll be able to put a picture here and then if you wanted to put um, something black or something you could either add another little picture here or you could journal here so yeah and then this is a piece of acetate and then I just cut this again so that um, it covers like that so it's cute so tonight what we're gonna do is since I'm going to the zombie walk on Saturday uh, we're gonna make a zombie bride tonight and then it's basically the same way I do show you tonight is how to do any of the dresses for the girls so what I did was um, this is um, Cinderella's so you can see it just goes over just like that you like that <laughs> Oh, Danny's fighting a bad cold. Yeah, it's going around. So that's Cinderella, but like you could do this in pink. It makes Sleeping Beauty. This is um, Elsa from um, Frozen. So that's her dress. And then this one is um, Sleeping Beauty. Uh, not Sleeping Beauty, Belle. And then if you wanted to make her Snow White, you would just, um, just cut the top blue and then cut short sleeves for her. And you could do Snow White on here. So, so tonight we're going to do a bride, zombie bride. So what I want to do is, since I have the witch on this side, since I have her here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, probably back, um, put a zombie witch here on this paper. And then I'll show you. I have to find my little bag. How we make the um, the broom, which is around here somewhere. But any of those dresses will fit um, any of the any of your dolls. Either the one die cut one, or if you have one. But like I said, really all. See how her arms go down. Really, all you need is just her neck and her shoes, if you want, like that. And you would just cut the rest of that out. Doesn't she look cute? And then I have also um, Elsa's hair. I um, trace that out for Janny for, for her to do for me. So you'll be able to get the Frozen girls if your girls are dressing up Frozen for um, Halloween. And I did a pirate. Um, we'll do the mummy. And then there's Dracula. And I can't remember what else. There's a lot. Frankenstein, Mrs. Frankenstein, um, oh, a little cat if you have uh, a cat or a little devil, so. <laughs> you know, the characters, and they're, they're pretty fast. It's not, um, it doesn't take long. So what we're going to do is I need some white paper. So let me just cut this out really quick, what we need. I just need a square of this. I have decided whether I'm dressing up for the zombie walk. I'd like to, um, I have the zombie t-shirt from last year, so, um, I'll, I'll at least have that. I'm thinking maybe just something, um, maybe just something small on my face, because we are, um, my, we're going, my three other girlfriends, and my other girlfriend and I, our birthdays, her birthday is actually the 10th, and mine's the 17th, and so we're celebrating our birthdays that night also. So, all right, so when you get this, and I'm going to trace this on the back. I'm also, I kept debating whether there was a lot of wedding zombies, and so that's why I wanted to pick her, because I'm sure I'll get a lot of pictures with that. So, um, well, um, I might do the vellum, or I might do it plain. It's kind of a shiny. It's hard for you to, you can see it like it's fluorescent light, kind of. <laughs> You want her to do it for your daughter. Dawn wants to do the um, characters for her daughter's class. So we're going to trace that. I'm trying to look for my picture that I have with their faces. I thought I put that here somewhere. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, a wizard. I forgot. So this will be the wizard. And then this is um, Mrs. Frankenstein. <laughs> and this is, um, I forget what the other girl's name is in Frozen. And then this is... Um, Elsa, isn't that her name? I think that's her name, Elsa. So, 
So you have a pattern for all those girls. So what I'm going to do is turn this over. Oh, let me take this off. And then we're just going to trace this onto here. <coughs> I don't know if I should do her that way or the other way. I'll just do her this way. So I'm just going to trace this real quick. And this would be good too if you wanted to do her like the evil, um, the evil girl, um, it's just you would do it all in black, you know. <laughs> I'm thinking of the evil queen. What's her name from um, that Angelina Jolie played in? I forget what she was. With the black wings. I like that movie. this out real quick. Hi Char. I didn't see you come in. Elsa and yeah and Anna. <laughs> oh magnificent or um, yeah right is it magnificent? I think it would be cool to do one like her with black and then do black wings on her. Oh, Malef Malef Maleficent? this through an embossing folder too you know and um, emboss the um, the dress <laughs> I wind up doing it the same so we have that and then I'm going to just come up here and do her waistline that's okay I you can't spell it correctly. I can't say it either. <laughs> so I think we'll put some, um, we'll just put this on the skirt part, I think. If I had polka dot, I'd rather have a polka dot, but this will be good. So I want to try to get the, <laughs> try to get, see how this has like a flourish up like this. So I'm going to try to get that at the bottom and in the middle kind of let's see I'm gonna put it just like that so I'll just take this And then I went over the other ones with stickles. It does ripple um, the vellum a little bit. You might have to get this doll to make the Disney characters. Yeah, I think it would be very cool to um, do a whole mini and do the Disney characters. Like I'll show you in the other dresses. Like um, some of it, um, like the Cinderella one didn't ripple too bad, but then the Belle one did. So if you're not wild about the rippling, then just I wouldn't stickle, but it doesn't bother me. So you can do this, dress them up any way you want now. So see, so there we go. That's the um, it 
it's hard to see I know you see how that is like that so and you know this is vellum so um now let me see if I could show you um, See here, because this was just a little bit of um, stickling on here. It still rippled a little bit, but what was nice is I could put the stickles underneath here and it held the um, the vellum down. So, and then see on this one on bells, it's not too bad. It's a little bit, a little bit of rippling, but not too bad. But see, so you could do it either way. I put the vellum on the outside and then just put cardstock in the middle. Or you can um, do the whole bottom card stock and then the vellum just across there. Or like I'm doing with the wedding dress, we're going to do the vellum on the whole thing. Oh, thank you, Ella. So. And what I'll do is I'll probably put stickles along the side here. I want to just erase this pencil mark. And then I'll go over, thanks Dawn, um, I'll go over it with um, stickles and we won't be able to see the little glue there. So let's um, put that down with this. Oh, I want to ink it too a little bit first. You don't want a lot of ink, just like a little bit, just to define it. Like, um, I didn't go too heavy with the ink and with the stickles you could see it, um, it covers it. But you just want a little bit, not a lot. So, and then uh, the reason I cut this is so that you can get in here with the um, applicator. And then on this side. And then you could do a whole bunch of things. You could do, you know, put her, her um, off the shoulder or just make um, short sleeves. But I just did the long sleeves for now. <laughs> Thanks, PG. All right. And then I do the same thing with the um, vellum. I just go over it very lightly. That's your new favorite tool, <laughs> the round um, applicator. I love it too. So we're just going to put a little bit on the edges here. You don't really see it too bad. I'll make sure it's lined up though. And then see it just goes on her just like this. But I'm going to make her green because like I said she's going to be a zombie witch. I mean a zombie bride. So. Um, let's see if I have my green. bunch out before. I don't know what to do with my paper. Yellow. You've been using your henna kit? Uh-huh, that's good. Alright, 
so I only need her um, just her face so we're just gonna cut a little piece out and I think I'm gonna go with the the one with the long hair if I can find it On, I have to go get it. So I'm just going to stamp her on there. I was hoping I had one already, but I don't. tonight. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just stamp this one. <laughs> Why is this? So we just stamp her with the short hair. We can do that. I want the one with like the witches on the front, but I don't seem to find it right now. We'll use her. We only need to stamp her head. Yeah, they scrap it up do just got the fine liners in so if you're looking for them they have them there we go So that's pretty much all you have to do for the bride dress. Not too bad. Like I said, you could make it more fancy if you wanted to get short sleeves or make her have like um, off the shoulder. Hi, Sophie. So let's just cut her out really quick. I could do the zombie one that I have on the PDF file, but um, I'll just do her for tonight. I'll have to put some red streaks or something in her hair. I'll have to give her like a little veil. <laughs> Cindy, did I, I don't know if I said hi to you before. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Hi to anybody else I missed. It's so hard with the chat now. I just can't. Um, at least I'm at least I'm lucky my chat's been staying down, which is nice. I know everybody else has been having a hard time with that popping up. But I shouldn't say anything because... <laughs> 
I don't want to jinx myself. Okay, so now we have her here, and we're going to put this on her like that. And then for her feet, um, I'll probably give her shoes, but I don't know if I'll do that tonight. So there's our little zombie girl. So pretty much that's how you're going to do your, um, your dresses now. It's just a matter of um, how you want to fancy them up. Like I said, you know, I'll put stickles on this later. And yours is still popping up. Yeah, I, see, I popped mine out, so I don't seem to have that problem. Um, so like I said, then you could double layer. See, I put, um, pop dots in here to, um, to raise that up or you can do it like that. So, so there we go. So now that we've done that, what I want to show you too is, um, What I did now, um, we're going to cut some bats out. Hopefully I can get my machine going. I got so much stuff there. And then we're going to um, emboss it like we did here. And then put the um, Inca gold, the antique gold. And um, we'll put some bats on our, um, our book. And I'm trying to think of what else I have on here. We could add one of these. It depends. I don't know if we'll add that or not because we have the girls so much. And then... Um, I do have one of these moons and I put it on a little thing. So I definitely will put one of those in there. Here's the stain down. That's good. Oh, you're on your iPad. And then, um, I'm not sure if we'll use the witch's hat, but, um, we'll see. We'll maybe make a witch's hat that you can put in there. Um, so that's that one. And then on this one, I'm trying to think what I did different on this one. Here's the little flourishes to see how they look like ghosts. So you have that on the PDF file there. And then, oh, I want to do, definitely want to do one of these. This is Tim's jar. Let me see if you can see it. And I took white stays on and then black stays on to put the spider on there. And then it's hard to see, but it's silver crackle. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's crackled. Oh, I love the book. Thanks. Um, if you wanted to get this jar to look like it was um, frosted, you could use Tim's um, film. He has a frosted film that you would be able to put on here. Or, hi, Fairy Floss. Or you could take um, matte gel medium and, and put that on the back. You have to let that dry overnight. And then you could add um, crackle, uh, Tim's crackle, clear crackle. And then that'll make the glass look like... Um, like it's all cracked. I'll do one so that you can see what I'm talking about. And But it has to stay overnight. So I'll show you next week what that's like. Hi Amanda. So definitely going to put one of those in there. And then and here's the bats. I like the way the bats are. So we'll definitely do the bats also. And then this is Tim's Witch. Which I made a little pocket. There. And then um, good thing Gwen is not here. <laughs> So I wanted to show you, if you wanted to make your spider, where's my other spiders? I have two other little spiders. Oh, they're around here. Oh, yeah, here they are. So you see how this spider is just plain cardstock? And if you go ahead and put um, rock stickles, I think it's our candy rock, what is it called? Candy rock stickles? Rock candy stickles? <laughs> whatever rock candy stickles if you rub that on your spider it looks gives them kind of like a hairy effect so do you see i like i didn't put enough like i have to go back and put, add like a little bit more but do you see how the spider looks like kind of creepy i mean he is creepy already i know gwen hates spiders so i have to show that to you guys before she comes on <laughs> i don't know how she's going to survive the month of october without the, all these spiders but um it's a cool way to um you know, make them look like hairy, like. <laughs> so, so those were my cauldron ones, and so now what we're gonna do is I have a couple other things to show you. Mm -hmm. 
Am I making a cauldron book this year? No, I've already, I did it last year, and I think Kath, uh, Kathy's doing a cauldron, some type of cauldron, which I'm sure is like a 3D thing, probably so awesome, so, um, but now I won't do it this year. Maybe we'll do it next year. <laughs> we'll see. But I wanted to show you, too, for those of you who have um, the, the brick rack. I have I have this one that's kind of roundish, and if you bought this one or you have it, and I don't know if Kathy gave that to you guys in um, in her kit, but I wanted to show you something that you could do. If you take um, and I like to do it with white and red, so it looks like a candy cane. You take this and you offset it, so instead of it being even, you drop it down one. You can do this. You just keep twining it around. And you can do the same with this one too. But I want to show you how you can get it. See how it how it makes a nice um, like a rick rack type thing. But it really looks good with white and red if you want to do for candy cane stripes. So you just keep going all the way down. So just another way you could use that punch um, besides just by itself. See it? Looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, so you can do the same thing with this one. <coughs> so just another way you could use that punch. All right. And what else? Oh, I did this today, too. I did just a little um, candy corn. Um, and just folded it so for a journaling spot so all you have to do is just make a triangle and you could use your corner rounder and punch it and then just um, circle it people also have done um, let's see if I have a paper if you take your paper and you do uh, this is too shiny like a circle of white and then the circle of orange and then a circle of yellow and then you divide this you can get your candy corns like that too so if you cut this then then fold it you could also make your book like that too oh this is the exact change punch yep so you could do that it's very cool I like it and like I said I really like it for Christmas when you use the white and red for candy canes it looks really cool yeah <coughs> all right so we're going to have this in our book we will have um i want to make a coffin i really want to make a coffin and then have him like come out of it so we have to work on that and then also what i wanted to do um probably on the last page we're going to take this and i'm looking for my little Hold on, I gotta find it. You know, Prima has um, all those little wooden, those little wooden um, trays that have the wood. Um, here it is. You've seen these that have all the little wood pieces. That looks like a bone. <laughs> these look like bones. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is this is about um, a half inch. And our bindings are going to be like quarter inch. So what I want to do is cut this and make like a little um, cubby where we could put like a little spider. We could put little um, bottles in here. Um, and then what it will be is the last page. This will be our last page. We could even make it like a window, but I really want to make it more look like a cabinet that's got kind of like spooky things in it. And I cut um, like this. Do you see? If you have, um, you just have to be super careful. But um, they're pretty soft. Like I just took the bracelet, this bracelet here. <coughs> and I cut one of these skulls um, with my Timmy scissors. But just be super careful um, that you don't poke yourself when you cut it. But um, we'll put all little things in here inside the, um, and dress it up for the cabinet. Oh, 
hold on one second. I have to get a drink of water. If it was a little bit thinner, I would do it on the page, but for this little book, it's too thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. So it'll stick out part of the way here, and it'll stick out part of the way here. So let's do that. So I'm going to put it about there on my pencil. And then we'll have to paint it too. Yes. Okay. Not good. Um. This. So I'll take my knife. And then we'll go on and put the. I'll probably put pattern paper on here, but I just want to get the fit of it right now. And I have some little glass bottles. It'll be cool to put stuff in there. I also want to do a page with some bottles. Um, and then uh, this is, uh, I think you've seen me do this before. I did it for Dar and I did it for Jim. Unfortunately, when I sent it to Jim, the bag broke and it was like all over everything. But um, this will be cool to put on acetate. And this is just purple um, disc detergent. And it'll make it look like there's something slimy in there. So... Let's hold on one second. I have to just check my... What is going on? Hold on. I, I lost my chat here for a second. Hold on. Um, let me see if I have to pop it out or if it will... Oh, it will jump up. Maybe I don't have to pop it out. That would be nice. All right, so I'm going to cut this out. be nice if we can make it to swing out but it's too thick might have to go a little bit longer next week to finish because then um, then we'll be going on to the Christmas tree. I hope to work on a Christmas tree this weekend to give you guys a little bit of um, a preview of the banner that we're going to work on next. We'll work on the banner first so that we can um, make sure it fits inside the tree and then work on the tree and then we'll do the mini last. fits really well so it's perfect so see how it will stick out just about a quarter of an inch on each side 
so which will be perfect for our binding because the binding is going to be a quarter of an inch in between each page so it looks cute so then I'll have to gesso that I don't know if I should gesso maybe just that I don't know we'll see So that will be our last page. We'll fit this. Just like that. And then this way in the back too, you'll still be able to add a picture in there. Or we can dress this up and maybe make this like another window. So we'll see how it goes. But um, I'm sure you've seen, um, I think Steph Miller used uh, one of these boxes in her mini. I'm sure a lot of people be using the minis now. Oh, is my chat frozen? I don't know. Are you guys still there? <laughs> it doesn't look like my chat has moved at all. So we have that done. The chat is frozen? I don't know. You that? You guys are just watching intently. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> no, I guess it isn't. All right. So we have this to go on our book. We also will have this. This, which is our mat, like that. So you'll have the pattern for that, and then you'll poke the holes here, and then you'll just take your string and go up one way, and then come up the other way. So, and you'll have a right and a left. So the pattern is only one way, so you'll just flip it so that you'll have a right and a left. So those are our mats. We have that, we have this, and this is just a circle, and then um, I put this on a wobble, and so you're just going to cut, like, I think this is two inches, the green. Let me see, this circle is like three and a half inch circle, and then the eye is like one and a half, and then this is like three quarters. And then you're just going to draw some red little eyeball-y lines like <laughs> you can blow up the chat but no one was talking so I've just been <laughs> you've just been quiet all right so next thing I want to work on is our coffin so let's take another paper all oh, right and then we have so pretty much we'll have this done we'll have these done as well we already have our front cover done so hopefully next week we'll just have to put the pages um, put our binding in um, so it won't be so bad so let's get another I need another book so what I really want to do is try to make a coffin oh, I want to have to show you how to do the broom if I can find that little bag hold on be in my other little bag I'll have to check oh here it is so we can put these little bottles like I have little tiny bottles in there and then we can put some spiders you could also put pictures in there too so you can put And then, I, you know, uh, they also have Tattered Angels. Let's see, what's it? Oh, Canvas Corp. Oh, Canvas Corp is having design team. 
They also have Tatter Angels in that. Oh. Um, but um, my other thing that I collect a lot besides flowers are these little things. <laughs> these little stamps. Do you guys have any of those? They're usually in the dollar bin. So I love that one, that one. This one's cute. And this one's really nice, the big pumpkin one. So we'll use those. And I have some of Tim's little pins. We'll probably use that. I am looking for my black paper. All right, so we're going to make our coffin now. And we'll have to figure out, you have the stamp, which stamp? One of these? These are not the only ones I have. For Halloween, I must have, ugh, I don't even want to tell you, probably like 30. <laughs> I keep them in a little book. But I love this one, the way it's stamped. Don't be afraid, that one. I love the witch's brew. I love these two little bats. They're really cute. So, we'll use some of those. But now we're going to do our coffin. And then, of course, you know, we have to do a tree. So we'll also do um, a tree tonight, too. That'll fit on, I think I'm going to put it on acrylic so that we can do an acrylic page on here. So, let me get um, paper. Let's see. I want just a little box. I wish I had my card up here to show you. I did a little cough and a Halloween card last year, which I don't see up here. Um, this is another bag. No, it's not up here. But so now we're going to do our little coffin. Yeah, the dollar stamps, I have a lot of those. <laughs> Too many, probably. So I think we're going to, let me cut this out so that we know where we want to put our skeleton. And this is Tim's um, stamp from Stampers Anonymous. Now see, I don't have to pop out my chat either. It's fine the way it is, so that's good. And then I want to do some tags too. I want to, I've been looking all day for my foil, um, so we could add some foil tags in here as well. But after I take my pictures on Saturday, I'll have a better idea of what I want to put in here. Yeah, my chat's not popped out either, and it seems to be okay. Knock on wood. Because <laughs> I was popping it out before, but I don't know. It seems okay now. You can see my face.
we go. So now we can judge what size coffin we want for him to pop out of. So, where's my other ruler? I really want to see how we can get him to, um, to pop out. So if I think if I bend his arms and his hands, I might be able to get him to pop out. Like that. It's hard for you to see on the black, but... Hi, Ricosta. <laughs> how are you? So that's what we'll do so it's hard for you to see but if you bend his arms you can see he kind of like popped out so that's how we'll have it like that so I want to make it and then we'll put some um, put some things in the coffin flowers um, some moss He has to be at least to here, I'd say. And this is just going to be our pattern just to judge. <clears throat> Because I'm not really sure how I want to do it. So let's just fold this in half. I always do <clears throat> one side so that you can get the other side. Where's my bone folder? Hi, Lane. <laughs> so we're going to go straight across. bad for a coffin. We need it to be wider though at the top. Let's see if he fits in there. It probably should have come out just a little bit more. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do it again. So I want to make sure. Oop, can you see what I'm doing? I know it's hard with the black on black. But I think I want to come out just a little bit further. His head's in the way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make like a quarter of an inch score line. I hope I probably have enough. I might have to. So you can pop out. Let's see how that works. Trace the original. Uh, use the ruler. It's easier. <laughs> I wanted to make it just a little bit bigger. So we'll see how it goes. So 
So we have that and that. I want to do is make a score line here. Probably an easier way to do it, I'm sure, but. <laughs> I hope I have enough room. I think it's going to be short. I think we're just going to have to do two of them. Hi, Orly. Oh, you made it. All right. So I'm going to bend this. This will be our quarter inch. And then we're just going to make another one to go right on top. And he still fits in here. Just like that. And then we're going to add some moss in here. Maybe he'll carry some little roses. So I'm going to make another one. You're always at work. I have to give a shout out to, um, you guys know her as Loriana, Lori. She um, always has to work on Wednesday night, but she likes to pop the uh, recording on her after she gets home. Okay, so let's score this one. Make sure they're even. So hi Lori. I was supposed to give her a shout out last week and I forgot to. <laughs> All right, so let's score this one. Yeah, poor Lori. Tell Lori. Dawn says hi. <laughs> oh, you're a baker, Orly, so you have to work nights. Ooh, do you make yummy baking like goodies? All right, so we have that down now. So here we go. So I want this to open up that way. So I want it to open up this way. So we want our coffin to go up like that. Would be nice to put his hand like coming out from the coffin, wouldn't it? If we could get that to come out. Maybe something like that. <laughs> she makes lots of goodies. Oh, she's making the graveyard this year. <laughs> And then we just need some white ink. Let's see what kind of white ink I have up here. Oh, let's see.
looking for. I had um, a new ink pad to try. Let's see if I can find it. It's not here. Looking for my ink. Um, when I went to the expo, I got a new white ink pad to try. Let's see if that works any better. Of course, I don't. I don't see it. Darn it. Just hold on one second. Oh, I think I have to plug you guys in too. I do. You could throw vanilla and cinnamon in. <laughs> She's talking about baking vanilla and cinnamon. There we go. Uh, let me just see. Oh, I wanted to try it, but uh, I don't see it around. <clears throat> well, I'll have to use um, I guess I'll just have to use this one. White oh, stays on. <clears throat> That one and this one. <coughs> what are you sick of? Was I talking about baking? <laughs> Cream cheese frosting? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I want to do the inside of this as well. All right. We have to let that dry a little bit. We'll put that off to the side. And I'll get some, put some moss in there. And I have some cheesecloth we could put in there. There's a little moss. Um, some cheesecloth. Oh, I actually have spider webbing. And we'll do a little bit of that. And then we need some little roses. Let's see if I have any roses around. Flowers or something. Let's see. I want the really tiny roses. I don't know if I could get to those. So we'll put some of this, the webbing. Ah. At the front. So 
So we're going to glue this on here. So there we go. There's our little coffin. And then I have Tim's little, um, his little things we can put on here. One of those on there. Ellen loves the pumpkin scones. My husband loves pumpkin too, my daughter. I'm not wild about pumpkin myself. So I'll put a little bit of this on here. Lay this down with the glossy accents. Probably should have used the bigger one. Maybe I will. I think I have one. Let me just see. I have one with um, Tim's Halloween ideology. If I could find that. Instead of using that little one. This might be too big. I don't think so. I think that'll look fine. Should we do that or should we do the bat? I kind of like the bat. Kind of cute. Let's see what else we have here. The bat. I like the bat too. So we'll put the bat on there. <laughs> I wonder if we should just ink them up a little bit. If I, my black stays on, I don't. Let's see if I have... Oh, here we go. I want to put a lot on here because I still want them kind of silvery. But we'll just put a little bit on there. I probably should have embossed this too, this folder. But. So just tinting them up a little bit. You never saw them? I got them last year. I think it was last year. And then I have these too. The, um, this one says Frightful. This one says Cobwebs. Halloween. Jack-o-lantern. Trick-or-treat. Skeleton. Masquerade. Spooky. Wicked. And Haunted. So I just inked that up with the patina, the onyx one, and then we can go ahead and put this one down. Oops. Yep, 
Yeah, I think it's from last year. The bat and the owl. It comes four of them. It comes um, with the crossbones. comes with the owl, the bat, and the spider. that on there oh they did they're really nice I like them um yep it's the owl the crossbones the crossbones, the bat, and the spider. Yeah, they have the Christmas ones too, which was with the reindeer. I forget what else they have. Halloween. All right. So on the inside, we want to get him to pop up. Where did he go? Our little spider our guy here. I think I'm going to cut up the, between his legs, too. You never saw them? Yeah, I'm sorry I only bought the one pack. <laughs> So we're going to stick him in here. We're going to have his hand come out too, I think. <coughs> so we'll stick him so he sticks up. So we'll put some pop dots so that he can stick up. Any black. Oh, my black pop dots. I'm going to put two of them on there. And then I'll glue that there with them sticking out. I have to look for my little roses. We'll have to put some little roses in his hand. out and then we'll just glue his feet I think I need one more right in there a smaller one though moss in the air. Around his feet. Does Gabby like Halloween? <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> Do you think she likes enemy anything that I like? No. <laughs> Even when she was little, she really didn't like Halloween.
glue that down. That looks pretty good. Oh, they're from 2012? Oh, two years old. And then we need some other things in here. What else can we put? I really need my little roses. And they're like way over under the other side. What well, was nice where I sat before was the flowers are like right behind me. And now they're not. They're like down in the middle of the, the room. So we'll have to put some type of flowers in there. Oh, I have one. I found one. <coughs> We should make this a red one. If I had my red, um, I'll have to paint this red. But we're going to stick that in his hand, I think. Oops. I think I'm going to slit it right. In there. So right where his thumb is, I'm just going to make a little slit and then put that right underneath there. So it looks like he's holding it. Like that. And I just have to just cut this just a tad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do get lucky. So we have that. We need to put some of this coffin stuff in there. Let's see. Oops, stringy. Oops. <laughs> put it to cover some of that binding and then put it up maybe we'll put it behind in between his under his arm pearl necklace and a purse <laughs> yeah we could do, try it fun isn't it that's the spider webbings um it makes good clouds too make sure i have this down tight it's 
So that looks pretty good, doesn't it? We need something else, so let's see what else we could put, add to this. <laughs> A scrapbook diva. Um, what else can we put on there? So now you can see that sticking out, so it'll be cool if we could get that to come open like that. A spider? <laughs> A spider on a leash. <laughs> ah, let's see what we have here. We have the spider. And then we could put some string. If I have some string or like a wire. Let's see. have to change out these white pop dots though. So. <laughs> Beatles! <laughs> I don't want this white one, I want a black. A black pop dot. Oh, I need to cut this one in half. So I'll put the string on that. Back on here. He has little black eyes too. It's hard to see, but oh yeah, you can see them. <laughs> And then we'll take this off of here and we'll glue them down here in his hand here. How's that? <laughs> Paint his eyes red. I'll have to look for some red stickles. doesn't it? <laughs> it's kind of tangled up in the web now, the webbing. <laughs> Spider's eyes. Let me see if I have, let me go look and see if I have some red stickles. Ah. I think we need maybe a little bit of green moss or something in there. Red, 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 red. Hold on, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. This is close enough. I have this, it's got like red and gold in it. Maybe we can even color the, um, <laughs> color this. 
Oh, of course it's stuck. I need a pin. Wire. Pin. <laughs> now you want to you want to do your own. They're cute. I had a mummy. I'll have to show it to you next week. A card, and it has a. I must have left my Halloween cards downstairs, but it has a mummy, and it, he's on a wobble, and he wobbles around. I think I have to do it with ink. But let's see if we can get his um, his little eyes now. Oh, I can't believe it's stuck again. There they are. Can you see them? They're red. <laughs> well, now I'll have to let that dry. We'll be able to close it. But that'll be really cute. We'll have to put it on something. I, I don't know, like a pole or something so that we could figure out what we're going to do. But it came out cute for a little embellishment. And then maybe we'll put, um, we'll make a tag. Like it'll come out like this so that we could add pictures on here. So I'll make like an accordion fold and add at least three more, I think, on here. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> what I should have done was put some spider webs um, in the background. Let me see. I think I have a little... Hold on one second. Let's see if I can find my little web. Here we are. That's what it needs. We should have had him hold this candelabra in his um in his hand. Oh God, this is like stuck. These are old, very old. There it goes. Oh, that was coming up. All right, so. See where I have my little stick it on. I want to put it like this. Yeah, there is a webbing stencil. Um, I'm trying to think of where mine is. Oh, let me see. Hold on. I have it somewhere here. Oh, I should show you my other million, um... Is this one this is the only one well and then there's Tim's don't forget Tim's we use that um which one is it remember his is called shattered it's number did I put it back of course I didn't where is it Well, his is called Shattered. Do you remember we used it last week, I think? But his is a webbing. But it's called Shattered. Of course, I didn't put it back. <laughs> now I have to look for it where it is. I'm 
Nope. I didn't put it back. Now I'll have to go searching for where it is. <laughs> yeah, he has the webbing dye, but not a stencil. But that one that's shattered is kind of like that. If I could find it. But anyway, there's this one. It's a little spider webbing one. This is called, this is by Kate's Kite Stencil. I don't know where that is. I got it at the expo, so. Um, but it's called the spider web. So let's do this now, spider webbing. Oh, and I have this. This, of course, I got at the dollar store, too. So we could add these along the edge here, maybe. Ah, that's what it needed. See? Look how cute. Oh, I need to put something under here. That's what it needed. See? Look how good that looks now. And then maybe we can put one more. I have this one too. Let's see what this one looks like. If I get this behind his head, we can do this. And behind here. Yeah, the new chat is horrible for PMs. So should we put a couple on this side? On there. And then we'll put Should we put it this way? put it on on this side maybe it's just on the side because we are going to put some tags on there too too much work what's too much work this little one's too much work but it looks so good oh now see it didn't come all the way out there we go <coughs> <laughs> you have a mini that needs that and you would never have thought of it you could just I just know it just needed something else oh you know why that's why because the bat is there don't forget that bat that's why so that looks good looks perfect <clears throat> Oh, the PMs are too much work. Yeah, they are too much work. I don't know how to work them. So that's cute. And so then we'll go ahead and add some tags to that too. Now this is the same stamp, but then I just took it off of the wood thing, which makes it easier to um, work. <clears throat> so that looks good then I'll probably add some stickles or something like that but I like it I just want his eyes to dry I don't want to close it yet <clears throat> so let's do some quick so let me put this in here get rid of this and this and I'll probably do some tags and then I'll do it on my blog so um for next week so that um we'll be able to finish this mini hopefully next week so
so let's um so this is the right size no <coughs> where's my paper paper there we go i have some scraps so let's just copy this oh my desk is a mess <laughs> as usual Pencil. I lost my pencil. <laughs> Let's grab another one. This should fit inside here. And let's trim it down just a tad. Oops, you can't see me. too much on this side so let's just straighten it out and then it should be fine so now I think what I'll do is I'll um, make two or three of these and then I'll run it through the um, cuddle bug and then or the kick and then we can put some tags that we can leave in here so I don't think that's dry yet but it's perfect just the way it is just like that <laughs> what is it it's gonna work through so that came out pretty cute all right so we have 15 minutes so let's see what else we could do we could work on our bell jar I'm trying to think of what else Oh, and I showed you this last year. If you took those plastic spiders and you hit it with the heat gun, you could shrink them down a little bit. Those were one of those regular big spiders. Uh, do I have any? Yeah, I like these. So see how big this was? This is just a regular, like one of those ring spiders. So if you hit it with your heat gun, you can shrink it down just a little bit. So... And then I want to put some chalk flowers in there, too. So we'll do that next week, too. Cute, isn't it? Yeah. So this one moves around. Yep. And this is just from one of the um, Prima's um, packaging that I put on there and then sprayed it. So let's see what else. So we have that. This is done. I showed you what to do with the Rick Rack. So next week, what we'll do is we'll put the binding, and I'm just going to show you real quick what we're going to use for binding. So this measures, let's see what this measures. Because we're only going to bind from this point to this point here. So it's about one, two, three, four, five, say five inches. Five inches and then we're gonna go two and a quarter inches so your strips will be two and a quarter by five and of course I don't have my scoreboard <laughs> I 
So what you're going to do is score in at each end one inch. So you're going to do this. So you have your quarter inch and then the pages will get um, connected with this. So you're going to make like five or six of these. I haven't decided how many pages we're going to do yet. So and then you're going to stick your tape on both sides. And it will go different for the front because the front we only have that little fence a half inch. And let's see, where's my 3 8 inch tape? Of course, they don't have it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so you're going to put your tape here. Oh, I have my little, um, Jonna's out here tonight. I wanted to show her my little acorns with the jingle bells. And I also put pearls with them, too. Let's see how cute. See the acorn tops? Can you see them? And then I put the jingle bells in there. And I also do it with pearls, too. And I, um, use them for embellishments. So if you're, if you have, um... Maple trees by you. Now's the time to get those acorn. Okay. So this is how our binding is going to go. It's going to go just like this. And then our next page. We're going to put tape on both sides. So it will go like this. Bye, Cindy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. So you need tape on both sides. So do five or six of these, and you'll have them ready for next week. And then I'll just show you on the front, we'll need to make them just a little bit smaller, only because we only have that little fence. Oh, we didn't do our tree. Maybe we could do our tree real quick. Look like you've guys seen me how to do a tree. Okay, so we have it on both sides now. I guess we could lay this one down because we have to put our paper down anyway. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So you're going to put it right where this notch is, right where that notch is. We'll probably wind up cutting off those notches, but we'll see. Ah. And then when we put our pattern paper on top, then you'll pull this tape off. So, and then you're going to add the next one on here. I'm not going to do it yet until... Um, until we're ready to do it next week. But now for the front cover. What you have to do. Where's the fence? So yeah, we only have this little half inch to connect here. So what you're going to have to do is just do one strip. One of these strips. But only instead of an inch wide, you're going to do a half inch. And then that will get connected here. And I should have put my paper on top, but I'll just have to put another piece of paper here. What am I working on now? We're going to be doing this little mini. It will be like this. Ah. So and it will connect like that. And we will do this. It will go up like this. 
I'll put my little zombie girl on here too, probably. So, um, and then you can decide once the PDF next week is available, you know, how many of these characters you want to put in your book. Um, so we'll do that. Then we have, um, our pages will be flipping. And then, um, in this page, I think of this one, I'm going to do the tree. I don't want to close yet because those eyes aren't dry. We'll do the tree here and then stick him in, leaning up against the tree. So, oh, thank you, Orly. Um, and then on our last page we did earlier, we did this. And I think I'm going to make this a wall. Those of you who um, were at the soiree, do you remember all these little pieces? I have to thank Don and Lori for giving me their extra little pieces. But um, I think it would be cool to make this like a wall. And these were the, the little relief parts from um, all that. So we put these on there would be look cute on there so we'll do it like a brick wall or a stucco wall or something like that so we'll add those on next week so we might have to take one more week to finish it because we still have a lot to do but um what i'll do is i'll go ahead and add these on and then um i'll take pictures and put it on my blog so that you could see step by step how i do it and then um next week we'll start um embellishing the pages and then hopefully we can get to put it on. So do you guys have any questions? I really like the way this came out. I love the spider webbing on there. It looks really cool. And the little red eyes. You can see them now. Yeah, look. <laughs> so, and then we'll add some more tags. I think I'm going to make it like an accordion so that it'll pull out like that. So, and then there's our little bat that we did. I might have to do something else to the front too. <laughs> Do I need your address, Miki, <laughs> to send it to you? <laughs> I don't think so. You, you already have the scarecrow. That one's pretty cute. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. Uh, you like it too, Ella? <laughs> I think we must have scared Gwen away because uh, she just can't take those spiders, I don't think. <laughs> You'll be watching for next week? Okay, good. So yeah, so hopefully it'll come together. I'm going to definitely add some more. When I go to the zombie walk this week, I'll see some different costumes and stuff. So I might add some other little creatures in there. We'll see. Thanks, Lane. Um, but yeah, but it's coming out cute. I like our embellishments. And then um, we'll also do some more tags. Or if I don't do the tags, I'll make sure to do it on my blog and do step by step. But I definitely want to do a couple tags and use the um, chalk flowers and... Um, do that so <laughs> oh now they're fighting fighting over the album fairy floss as she wants it to now <laughs> thanks for costa for coming thanks everyone for coming tonight so um yeah so i'll do one more class definitely to next week oh and we need to do our little bottles i want to do the soap with the bottles so i'll have to show you that so <laughs> you love the chalk flowers yeah yeah, she came out cute, didn't she? Thanks. Um, so we'll definitely put some bottles, some poison bottles and stuff like that in there. And then I want to look for my foil tags. Um, we'll put some of those in, eggs, uh, in there too. So mm. Now you have to go hunting for Halloween stuff. <laughs> Alright, so there's no questions. And then I'll do the tree. And then um, we'll definitely lean the coffin up against the tree and then maybe put some um tombstones or something like that so it was a fun class thanks bunny <laughs> thanks dawn thanks everyone all right so have a good weekend um catherine's on tomorrow and i think is um kathy still on at two o'clock i think she's on <laughs> thanks very um and then Ash, she had a great class. I love her little spider. I might have to steal that. How she get the spider to crawl away the um, page. That's pretty cool. Um, thanks, Amanda. Um, so, yeah. So, I want to put some more little tricks and stuff in the albums. Because I think that's the fun of Halloween. And put some bats or something. And some ghosts popping out. So, definitely um, we'll do that. Oh, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> thanks. Um, so, no other questions. Um, who else? 
Kathy's I think gone till two this week. Then there's Catherine. I don't know if Jen's on to check Facebook for her. And then Ash will be doing I don't know if she's doing Sunday. Check her Facebook for Sunday. But she's back now. And then Gwen, of course, is doing Tuesdays. So so have a good weekend and I'll definitely show you some pictures from my zombie walk and um, that will hopefully probably need one more class for this class. So and then I'll have a sneak peek of the Christmas tree too for next week. Any other questions? Nothing? <laughs> Alright, so then I'll see you next week. Bye.